Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my backyard and welcome to another sawmill adventure day where we uh, we cut some stuff up and uh, have an adventure. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna cut up a red oak log, a long crash log, which I've had in my pile for a very long time. This one came from my buddy Brent over at Meridian Tree. I picked this one up from him, oh, at least a year and a half ago. And it's finally time to cut it. Finally. <laughs> so here is the log pile. And of course, you know, the one you want is way back behind all this stuff. Here it is right here. There is its butt. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'll dig this thing out and uh, get over to the saw and we'll take a look at it. I think it's like 12 or 13 feet long and about, you know, three feet-ish in diameter down at the bottom there, or something. We'll see. All right, here's the uh, the log, somewhat as I remember it. <laughs> uh, as far as interesting things go, we got a crotch. That's basically it. There's nothing really going on uh, down here that I see. Nothing super crazy. We have uh, this kind of split that was in the log as a tree was growing down here. So we'll see some kind of split probably through the slabs because I will orient this in line with the crotch, which will cut through that uh, that split, or that split will be included in the slabs. Oh, look at this! You got like a chainsaw plunge, a miss plunge here or something. That's interesting. Uh, that's all I really see, other than the fact that this log needs a pretty good amount of tweaking <laughs> to get it sitting on the saw. Uh, nice and level and pretty and whatever. We got the crotch bulges on on both sides here. So that's gonna hold us up off the bed. So we're, we'll probably end up blocking that end down there once we get in position. And I'll probably use a telehandler too to, to pick the crotch end and get it either just floating for the first cut or get it blocked up or or something. You know me, I just kind of make it up as I go. And we're about to get going. So I'm about to be making up some stuff. <laughs> Here we go.
That is uh, that's a lot. That's all I got. I need more blocks. A lot more blocks. Something like that, maybe. <clears throat> Oof. All right, I'm content with that. Although, just, just two points of contact, just floating in the middle. You can see right, hello over there. Okay, let's uh, let's figure out our first position. Actually, that's that's surprisingly not moving at all. Okay, let's get started. Finally, to the top of the log, we got 39 inches. That's probably like a meter or so. Ballpark. Look at that, we're pretty close on this side too. I hook on the bottom of this. They're about 36 to the top of this thing. So I'm gonna come in at, uh, oh, I don't know, 36-ish. Then I'll kind of clip the top of uh, the crotches here so I have a nice solid foundation as this thing is resting down because this will be the bottom of the stack. We'll lose this bulge thing and get a nice flat cut. And then we can roll it over and it won't be as sketchy looking. So I did lie last time. This is actually gonna be the top of the stack. I got my sides all flipped up, flipped over, I guess. So I didn't quite go as deep as I wanted to. If this is gonna be the bottom, but it's gonna be the top, so a little more conservative. Oh boy. Ooh. I got some fun swirly things up in the bulge, over in bulge land, the swirly grains. Hey, we got some crotch in the bulge. That's fun. This is gonna be promising. So one other thing that's kind of fun about this. So if you look down here, you can see how this is kind of like a lighter color. And as you come in here, this is a lot darker. This is all still moisture in the logs. So this thing has been sitting here for two years. Once you get, this is like a, a half inch thick. Once you get more than an inch thick, it's like it hasn't been drying at all which is always kind of a fun thing because I was like, oh, you let the logs sit for a while, the logs will be dry. No, <laughs> not even close. There's so much uh, bound moisture in these things that they're not gonna dry unless you saw them. All right, let's, uh, well, we'll roll it over. Hit the undo button.
park the telehandler here. Now, let's take a quick look before we get to uh, slicing. We got all kinds of uh, defects that are actually very vivid and interesting down here. They're kind of more like uh, bark inclusion, spalty hybrid things with all these uh, squiggly lines. They're, they're just splits in the log, but that's where all the, it follows the grain. So this was a curly area that had a split through it. And you can see that the split follows that grain and follows the wavy pattern of the curl. That's down here. The rest of it is boring. <laughs> At least for me. 100% clear. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing's going on there. But that, that's cool. reasonably heavy and falling apart. I think they're getting heavier. Oh. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see how I do on this toss. You know, coming out of retirement for this. I got a little hook to the left today. Must be the wind or, I don't know, something. But we got it, we got coverage. All right, so the first one, like we said on the, on the saw, 
very clear, nothing going on until we get down here to this uh, uh, structural defect inclusion kind of thing. And we got all that fun ripply grain here. Interestingly, I think this tree used to have another limb that went out like that away and lost it and it completely decayed. So we had like a, it used to be like a triple crotch situation at one point because that's one crotch limb and that's another crotch limb. This crotch limb had another crotch coming out of it. Hop over here. Woo! We got some, uh, we got some bark inclusion in this log. So we're not going to have our giant crotch feather. We're going to have bark inclusion with uh, goofy stuff kind of surrounding it. And uh, quite a bit of decay on, uh, on this side. Down through here we got some just a little fun like green stain thing going on there. And then uh, this is just clear. Nice and clear. If you're, if you're into that. So that's the first two. Two more to go. Oh, that's cool. Holy crap, that's cool. That's some really cool staining in this center cuts. So we got quarter sawn, stained quarter sawn. <laughs> I, haven't, uh, I haven't pointed this out yet, but there is an ash growing in this crotch. Little baby ash, all chopped up. Crotch ash. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Slab number three. Show me your belly. Still hooking to the left. Oh, this has got some wild stuff going on. All right, here we go. Slab four. This has got some nice uh, quarter sawn ray fleck going on here, which you know, we're quarter sawn right there, so we should see some reflex. We should see reflex here being quarter sawn, but hey, it's not like a surprise, but this has got some nice fleck. All right, this one here. What's interesting about this one is we have, you know, the structural defect all the way down. And because it was established a while ago, we got some nice green stain around that structural defects. We got a crack with some really great green streaking following the green, which is super duper awesome. We're getting a little bit of ray fleck. We're not quite quarter sawn or not quite presented perpendicular to the face. So we have really light ray fleck, these little darker uh, kind of ovalish shapes there. A little bit heavier ray fleck on this side. Big old split <laughs> in the crotch, but we do have the remnants of the crotch figure here poking through with, uh, you know, another knot and an actual hole. <laughs> oh, it's wet <laughs> right there. So that guy's looking pretty cool. This one actually here is my favorite. This one we're smack dab in the middle of the log. I got the pith here centered. So this big crack here is the center of the tree. And you can see the main stem of the tree went and went to here and we split off into this limb and that limb there so it's just kind of fun to see that the actual center of the growth of the tree and you can see it's kind of it's off center it's kind of a fun different detail there anyway we got some fun uh ray fleck here quarter sun showing all those medullary rays we got some more green stain up here in the middle and this is really cool black stain so you got this black stained 
uh, Ray Fleck Coruscant area through here. This like completely destroyed area here. <laughs> Coming into the uh, the bark enclosure where the crotch would have been. That little bit of crotch figure again. And then we branch off again to the other limb on that side. So just a lot of cool, interesting things going on in these guys. All right, let's see what five and six got besides uh, a giant nail in them. We got a breeze here, so let's see if I can compensate. <laughs> I see a camera fell down already. Okay, we got some fun structural defect action over here. We got actually like the woods peeling. That's kind of fun. This is down in the, the pith area, so the original section of the tree. We got some nice straight grain here on, other sides of, on either side of that. And on this side, we got all this nice blue stain. 
That is from uh, this nail or spike or whatever that was there. And there used to be another one right there. It looks like it got pulled out as I was uh, cutting through it. So a couple of, couple of nails there from something. And we got the, uh, the fun crotch void <laughs> here with a whole bunch of old limbs kind of all over the place. Very cool. A little further into the, uh, the tree, we've got kind of the inverse here with the, uh, the steel. We have one piece of nail or whatever on this side. And this one here has been completely pulled out, but really cool, vivid blue stain. I really like, uh, I like blue stain. It's actually pretty beautiful. And just craziness and stuff happening down here. Starting to get past like the big old cracks. Now we have just the remnants of them. We have some little tiny cracks here and there, which is uh, also pretty cool. So. Other than that, down here are pretty clear. Besides, <laughs> besides the, the defects, the structural defects, very clear down here. Starting to get into some cathedral green here in the middle. All right, I got a little ahead of myself. I didn't. I haven't been getting any dimensions on this, so let's kind of see where we're at here. At the widest part here at the crotch, it's at 54 inches. Kind of when we get through the crotch and down to here, that's 30 inches. That's so probably going to be about the same all the way down through here. 30 down here as well. So you got a pretty well consistent 30 through here and then a uh, splay. And the one beneath it looks like it's just a little bit wider. So uh, yeah, pretty decent sized log. Let's see what we got for length here. Uh, 160 inches, a little over 13 feet. So this log would not have been possible to saw without the bed extension. All right, Slab 7, show us what kind of craziness you got going on. Ooh. This one's getting cool. Bonus splash! <laughs> All right, check us out. So down here, it's like perfect, clear, perfect wood. It's like nothing but clear and some burl. <laughs> all the way through here and then things start to get super duper crazy down here with whatever the heck is going on here all kinds of like old limb action stuff here and then you get back up into the crotch crack <laughs> and uh, you got clear stuff kind of on either side but I just love the like the juxtaposition here of like absolute insanity to like clear straight grain you know normal grain wood stuff and then boom whatever that is <laughs> there's still a lot of moisture in here Oh yeah, leave a log, sit up for a bit, it'll dry. You'll cut it and you won't have to dry it at all. No. No. Look at the moisture gradient. This is like, it hasn't dried at all in the middle. Slab eight, what you got for me? Okay, that was okay. Kind of, kind of lost it as the crotch started. Down here is pretty good though. Okay, so we're continuing with the theme here. We got clear, 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 clear. It's craziness, or less, less craziness and more stuff. We got the the resulting of what's going on below here. We got an old limb. And we continue with the uh, the crotch crack, <laughs> but uh, we're kind of reconnecting up there. Clear stuff on either side, and just a lot of clear, nice looking wood down here on this end here. Right, 
number nine. I see you got some uh, straight green going on here. What do you got going on here? Some insanity. That is, oh, it's like a bark chunk. It's like a fold. Oh, okay. All right, sneaky, sneaky number nine. Sneaking some bark in there. So yeah, nice, clear, basic stuff down here. And then boom. So this, this looks like it's, uh, there's some undulation here in the wood, and this is the bark kind of laying in there as we get towards the outside of the tree. Kind of a fun detail. Um, at least I shouldn't lose this, so it should go through the drawing process and it could be glued in place as a, it's a fun detail of this piece of wood. But, you know, just all kinds of fun little defecty things up here, and we're starting to get out into more sapwood. As you can see here, it's all sapwood. There's the heartwood and sapwood all through there. Down here, man, that's some, uh, that's some nice looking stuff down here. All right, there's not a whole lot going on here with slab 10. We're kind of like at the outside of the tree, kind of into you know the cap area. So don't really expect a whole lot of crazy stuff going on here. A couple notable things, we do have these sort of surface level hairline-ish looking cracks. Those are drying stress cracks, so because this log sat for so long, towards the outside of the log, you're gonna start seeing uh, defects like this, uh, stress cracks from drying and shrinking. But down here, you know, just straightish grain. But this, <laughs> I forgot all the crazy stuff up in here where this uh, kind of bulge thing was. Look at all the crazy stuff going on here. All kinds of insanity. So like this section right here is like some pretty darn cool looking stuff. That's boring. This is, this is cool. <laughs> So, 10 slabs on that log, all stickered and stacked and ready for drying. So, really great log. Once again, I'm super happy to have yet another log out of the queue. One of the longer ones here in the, uh, the sawmill bed extension is working flawlessly. So that is always uh, that's a good feeling when things continue to go well without any kind of issue. One uh, kind of fun comment that uh, I thought I'd touch on real quick is every time I cut red oak, especially stuff that looks like this, I always get the comments saying that's some pretty amazing red oak. I wish or I haven't seen red oak like that before. I would actually like red oak if it looked like that. The, uh, the, the trick with red oak that I have found is to get the, the cool, vibrant and fun looking red oak, you got to go after the absolute garbage logs. <laughs> so this log from like a traditional standpoint again, complete garbage. No one, no one would traditionally want to solve this, but it's because of all those defects, all those inclusions and things that produces all of the most interesting and fun figure and just fun grain and stuff that, uh, that's, that's the way you got to do it, I guess. So that's, uh, that's it for this one. This guy's it stacked up and we'll get it drying. And then we got 13 feet, whatever of, uh, crotchy, straight grainy, Red Oak Slabs. So thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on uh, the sawmill or anything back in the shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking.